It's Speed of Doom Sunday time. Speed of Doom Sunday time and shh. Quiet now. It's time for map 18. Silent hour. We're back to Dark Wave. We're in an Earth Jungle theme. And I'm not unpausing because I need to explain. Behind me is a Revenant and a Hell Knight, just like what you see in front. So when I unpause, what I'm going to do is back onto them to wake them up, run forward and grab the guns, and then run the hell out of here. Okay, you ready? Let's go. And we're out. Wake up those monkey by down there, and then go for a run around the building. I'm not firing a shot. Very important. Because now... I can just run past the monkey boy and grab all this stuff in peace. How uh, is everyone on this fine Sunday? I'm doing well. And we're up to map 18, Silent Hour by Darkwave. A really cool map. I really like the way the visuals uh, throw back to his earlier maps like Meat Grinder and Vile Pain, that kind of thing. And the whole reason I didn't fire a shot is this area would be absolutely flooded with Revenants, Cyberdemons, Archfiles, Hell Knights, you name it. They'd be here, but they're not because I've been quiet. Silent hour. Also, this music track is by Darkwave, and I actually really, really like it. It sits with all the Stuart Min Riddies, uh, Stuart Rin Middies, really nicely. So kudos. Now, okay, I'm just sort of running around uh, to do commentary more than anything, but what I want to do is kill these guys, grab the rocket launcher. That reveals an art file here, who I want out of my way. Okay. Use some BFG shots on the lower. Yeah, dudes. Kill these guys. This opens this door here. And let's get in. Pray that the door closes. Okay, it's not because pinkies are blocking it. That's kind of standard. Get out of there. Okay, just need to keep shooting into it until it closes. We want it to close. Because I did fire a shot, like BFG and so on, there are all those revenants and so on coming from that other area. They're on their way. And that's fine, I just want the door to close. There we go. Nice. Okay, and now in this area, uh, I can just clear it out safely. It's like a dark wave style tech based thing, but there is actually a lot going on. So there's obviously an Arachnotron to the right, as you can hear and kind of saw. There's imps behind it, there's Mancubi and Hell Knights in the distance there who I've managed to get infighting. Here's another Mancubus, who I'm assuming is angry at me. But yeah, the infighting is happening in a different direction. See the projectiles going the wrong way, so it's not going to hit this guy. Your time has come. And there are also quite a lot of chain gunners in this area, so I need to be careful. Yeah, here comes another chain gunner. There's another Hell Knight. These imps are surprisingly annoying in the background here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yes. Hit this guy. Yes, perfect. All right, imps. Should have just enough time. Got to be careful and keep watching though, because you never know if a projectile will miss the mancubus and come through and hit me. Ah, this is just going annoying. All right, let's come in here. And clear this area out. Yeah, more chain gunners. There's actually even one more. Get wrecked. You will not surprise me. And yeah, we get a typical... Oh, see, there's those imps. Oh my god. Those bloody crates. I was not in a good position there at all. Okay. Chain gunners are dead, which is excellent. But these guys now are very scary. I mean, a nasty look will kill me here. It's okay, there is health around. I just have to not get hit until I've grabbed it. Okay. They're dead. The imps now. I can focus on them. And there's a hell knight along with them, but... Got to focus on the imps first. Monkey by here, but once again, just take him out. Focus on one at a time, and now this guy. You can see those medkits up there. Salvation, salvation. And hear all that noise outside, the revenants and cyber demons and so on. Yeah, they're the guys who I would have been dealing with in the circular area with the BFG and the red key. Had I fired a shot. There, you can strafe run to the spiders platform for cells. And now we can, you know, raid the storage area. 
Apologies if this bit's a little bit boring, but you know. It, it just is what it is. And you lot. Now this area is actually a secret area and I definitely want to go there. If it wasn't for that secret area, the progression would be to go up this lift. A classic dark wave boom lift, but no, going to the secret is much easier. So let's go through here. Hopefully there's another stim pack somewhere. No, okay. There is a secret trigger in this area. Can you figure it out? It's typically obscure. This side of the light is blue. And so you press that. You don't really get much feedback. And this crate lowers and here we are. Now look what's out there. All the revenants. But I don't see the cybers. Where are the cybers? There's one. Can you get an infight started? There we go. Okay, I think he's angered enough of them. Yeah, okay, it's infighting time. Secret number two. Can you see what's going on? These two sides of the crater brown, but this side is grey. Yeah, pretty obscure stuff, but these secrets are very handy. Now we're where the chain gunners were that I BFG'd. And we have two options. I'm going to run like hell because the Hell Knight will teleport behind me in a sec, but if I press this button, maybe take a pot shot at those chain gunners and then get the hell out. So now I'm not sandwiched at all. Chain gunners aren't bothering me. It's a nasty little sandwichy trap though. If you're not careful. Or if you don't know it's coming. But Darkwave was kind and had them all facing away from you. I mean, that's kind of the theme of this entire secret besides the goodies you get. Because as it continues over this away, it allows us to go up this lift and instead of the other lift that I highlighted before, the boom lift, we emerge in this area from here. All the imps are facing the wrong way and we can easily get the Arachnotron to fight the Hell Knight. And it gets even easier than that, but I'll have to point it out in a sec. And, you I mean, perfect. That's what we want, right? Rackatron just totally wrecking the Hell Knight for us. Save just a bit of ammo and time. Oh, okay. Mancubus now can just deal with one-on-one. -on -one. No issues. And then the lift, uh, the other lift is there. And so these guys will be behind you. Instead, they're doing absolutely nothing. See, here's the lift. And around behind here is just a little bit of health. Now, for a dramatic fight, a reenactment of everyone's favorite moment from Doom 2. Check it out. But Darkwave's been kind again and put the Cyber Demon facing the other way. So if I do this, do you want to shoot? No, okay. No. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is obviously just position them so that it'll be easy for them to hit each other and infight. This is going to work. So now's the time to wake up the cyber. I've gotten very unlucky here. Yeah, there's not going to be any infighting, I don't think. So, okay, the cyber got the killing blow. But very unlucky, but now I need to two-shot this guy. Come on. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, man, I'm losing lots of momentum going up and down this little step. Uh, that was not bad, not good timing. Oh no. Man, my health, this has just gone bloody terribly. The infighting just makes this easy, like super, super easy. And instead, look what I'm dealing with here. And like the tiniest bit of splash damage is going to kill me. God damn it. Alright, well you saw the idea. In the end, I have to take care of it myself. Hopefully that means I've got enough ammo to play the rest of the map the way I would like to. But I'm going to have to be very careful when it comes time to try and jump down here. Don't you dare. Or you. Okay, so I can show myself a bit here. I would really like the Cyber Demon who I hear still being here to uh, keep mopping up. Is there only one Cyber left? Oh wow, there's an Arch file still.
Come on, Cyber. Kill the art file. And there's, yeah, there's Mankybi and another Cyber Demon over there, so I gotta be careful of that. There's the art file. Oh, he's angry at the Cyber Demon? Oh, wow. I've got everyone angry at that Cyber Demon. Look at them all being angry at that Cyber Demon. Oh, my God. Hmm. Well, this is sketchy given my limited health. Ooh. Ooh, oh man, I've copped the lowest damage roll possible from a Mancubus Fireball. That's so lucky. The thing is, I'd love to grab the yellow key and just make a run for the circular area, which you can see right in front of us. But the chance I'll get hit by crossfire with my low health are pretty high. Oh yes, Cyber Demon, you legend. He just smacked up the arch file. Oh, and he's killing these guys. Okay, starting to get some luck. That cyber will help take care of these dudes. Careful. And then this cyber at the bottom of the the ledge, the, uh, the blood fall that I'm at now. Hopefully I can get him to just clear out whoever's here. Come on, yep. Oh, god damn, that was manky boy. Why is that Hell Knight all the way down there now angry at me again? Okay, here's the cyber. Yes. Yes, yes. There were Hell Knights and Revenants at the bottom of this bloodfall. That's why it wasn't jumping down, because I knew that I was probably going to get blocked. The infighting rockets from that cyber. Okay, yes, he killed it. Thank God, alright. I think now I just want to know exactly where the cyber demon is, and then make a massive run for it. Okay, cool. He killed the Hell Knight as well. That's so just the cyber, so I can just run past. Okay, he's over there. Let's just go. Run down here. And wait for him to turn up. Grab some medkits in the meantime. Oh, I have no cells. I can fix that. There should be cells on this pillar. And it's lowered with this. Okay, just enough. Hopefully the cyber is uh, weak. Yeah, here he comes. Actually, are you super weak from infighting? Maybe I should use one BFG shot and then polish him off with other stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, he was weak enough. Probably should have kept... Uh, he died to the ball, so who knows what was to go there. Oh, is there a chain gunner still? No, okay. Oh, okay, I think I know what's going on. Okay, there's a bit of cleanup to do in this area still. Just got to be real careful of that distant cyber demon, of course. But yeah, there are like turreted revenants and hell knights and a mancubus in various areas. And potentially those mancubi and the cyber demon can see you while you're trying to clean them up. So yeah, this can be a nasty map if you don't know a good route for it. Oh yeah, a huge shout outs to Tatsud Kako Kako. Because that um, not firing anything strat that I was using at the beginning, I've just totally taken from their speedrun of this map. Yeah, it really is a great strategy. It's saved my bacon. But yeah, the, the, what you're meant to do is fight all those revenants and the cyber demon yourself down in that circular area. Also, see where this mancubus was and there's a backpack? Well, you just open the wall. Now, I have the keys and so the way you're meant to progress in this map is press two switches here and then that pillar will lower and it's a teleporter. But I definitely don't want to do that. There's another secret that we can go get. But it is well worth, oh, first of all, Dragging this guy out. Grabbing that mega armor, but we'll also have to kill an art file, that's fine. And then I'm going to go on a raid for some cells, because I really need more of them. Don't zap me. I would normally just uh, BFG this guy, but I had to use so many more cells than normal to have killed the Cyber Demon and the Spider Demon who just refused to win fight. So I've had to do that. Let's grab the Mega Armor though, and then to open this door again, you need to press the switch. And we're going on a bit of a mission. Background to the Cyber Demon Spider Demon Arena, and grabbing cells that will be on the pillar in that area. So I need lots more cells for what I'm next about to do. I think this lowers it. Yeah, excellent. Plenty of cells. But also, if you jump down here, 
Just be careful that the cyber demon can't be shooting at me. And then shoot that switch over there. And this is the next secret. More cells. Okay. Now to go to the fifth and final secret. That requires running off the edge here and to the right. And we're going to have to deal with all these guys. So get ready. You can't get swarmed by them. You've got to be ready to just start BFGing. Okay. This is what I mean. You don't want to get swarmed. And deal with them in a more one at a time drip fed style manner. Okay. And then the secret is just being careful of the cyber demon. Oh god. Oh, what the hell? Okay, he can shoot you down here if you're not careful. Uh, pressing both sides of that switch allows us into here. And you know what's important about this? Well, those sniping mancubi, which have already been killed by a cyber demon, it would seem, you can crush them by pressing this. So there's no need, but the secret continues, so I have to keep going anyway. And we go to the other side. And the other monkey buyer through the window over to the left there. See if any of them are alive and we can crush them. So the sound they make is pretty satisfying. Also, yep. Oh, what the hell? Man, I can't press a single thing. Is my spacebar working? And an arch file gets revealed. Check it out. Oh, that is satisfying. See you, losers. And then this is the coup de grace of the entire secret. Telefrag the cyber. Oh no. Forgot about that guy. All right, let's go. Into here. Because another cyber demon has replaced that cyber demon, so we want to just uh, get out of that room where all those barons are. And hope. Yep, yeah, okay, he's infighting some of the barons. But I will have to take out a lot of them myself. There is still a lost soul. Uh, and I woke up the Revenant. and I was trying not to go that far. Have to be very careful not to stand in front of the doorway too much because of exactly that. Wow. Wow, that was lucky. Timing was good though. God damn. I said god damn. Okay, there's another Revenant, but that's fine. Okay, and yeah, you probably didn't fail to notice all of this. Well... What do you think happens when I press this switch? But we do get this, but first, I do need to take out these guys. So the cyber clearly is still angry at me. Oh, no, okay, now finally he's angry at the barons. Should I, you know, wait for this to all happen or just finish it all off myself? Yeah, this run's already gone for way too long. I expect it to actually be done by now wasted some time with the infighting and then yeah if you stand about here-ish that cyber demon has a you know 0.1% chance of hitting you he has to be like right over to the right see how he's hitting everything I moved just in case but seriously he has to be so far over to the right to actually hit you it's extremely rare and if you do see him all the way over to the right just move otherwise you can just stand here and do this and I want to save all the cells for, well, you you guessed it. What do you think I want to save the cells for? Okay. But before I press that, we need this, but you do have to work for this. Kill those guys before grabbing it, though, because there's no need to waste any time. Let's go. Just like the end of Vile Pain, except actually not even as hard. I like the way the Dark Wave lets you do this at the end of a couple of these maps, and we're done. There's just a switch to lower these bars right here. Silent Tower, everyone be quiet. This is a really cool map, uh, and the way that I get through it is, well, by copying Tatsurd's uh, strategy for the first little bit, and then taking it pretty slowly and carefully. Uh, if not, you can, you know, have a lot of fun with this map, get a lot of big infighting going, have some big arena fights in the circular area, uh, but yeah, I just want to go for consistency to record the video. It's still fun to do it this way. I like strategic style adventure maps as well, and this kind of reminds me of Vile Pain in that way, if you decide to play it the way I did as well. Cool stuff. Really love the Earth Jungle theme. It continues for next week, where we go to Joshi's Map 19, which he called a breather. I think it's probably about as difficult as these few maps. And then the next Dark Wave map, 
shit gets real. The path to hell is the next hardest map besides Pyramid of Death, and that's coming up very soon. I hope you've had a good week, a good Sunday, and I hope you have a good week to come. And I'll see you next time on Speedy Doom Sundays. Until then, peace.